Thank you very much and very good afternoon and thank you for having me. Um, it's an honour to be speaking alongside such an esteemed panel of speakers. I have about 12 minutes. A couple of concepts just by looking at this particular slide that I would like you to keep in mind because that underpins my uh, presentation. The first is the, the, the phrase skin quality. What is skin quality? Different people define it differently, but Dr. Humphreys, a dermatologist from Canada, published a paper in 2021, and basically she uh, outlined the three pillars when it comes to the definition of skin quality. We can look at somebody's skin and define their skin being good. So visibility or appearance is one definition, or mechanical quality is second, you pinch it or you snap it, or number three is histological quality. So there are different ways of defining uh, skin quality, and hopefully in the process of trying to improve the skin quality of our patients, we are able to improve all three pillars. The second concept I would like you to keep in mind is the word synergistic. How do we define the word synergistic? Essentially, synergistically means, or the word synergistic means that there is an interaction or a cooperation of more than one substance in the process of trying to achieve a combined effect that is more effective than if those substances were to be used individually. And that is the word synergist. Right, essentially, when it comes to aging, we've got chronological aging and we have photoaging. And in the broad terms, we know that when it comes to the appearance of the skin, chronological aging only contributes towards 15% of the appearance of the aging signs on the surface of the skin. And the remaining 85% is as a result of photoaging or as a result of lifestyle choices and our lifestyle. So essentially, when, it, when we age, a catalog of things happen. We lose the ability to retain hydration, we lose the hydration, the fibroblastic activity deteriorates, and the quality of collagen and elastin deteriorate as well. And in the process of trying to rejuvenate somebody's skin quality, we want to try to improve all of those if possible. But what we know is, as I mentioned about skin quality, is that we do define skin quality just by looking at somebody's face. And we know that hydration is an important element when it comes to the appearance of the quality of the skin. And if the skin is dehydrated, instinctively or instantly, it looks not of a good quality. So hydration is incredibly important. I've divided this lecture into two categories because when we are tackling somebody's skin quality, when we are improving somebody's skin quality, we want to look at the outer skin as well as the inner skin in conjunction with each other. And I look at it in a holistic way, and I start with by looking at the outer skin. And thereafter, I will go into the inner skin and I'll present to you the, the, a couple of options that we can look at and the new scientific uh, concepts that we should be considering when we are choosing the products to inject into somebody's inner skin. In the outer skin, when retaining hydration, it is very good at keeping it within the skin. 
in so far as molecularly resilient hyaluronic acid by virtue of the fact that it having crosslink it is able to almost act as a shield on the surface of the skin when it's applied and therefore its bioavailability is more sustained it does help positively now we go to the inner skin because this is the more excite uh, exciting part we have injectables and we have already tackled the outer skin we now go into the inner skin and historically we use hyaluronic acid injectables as biostimulator or bio revitalizer and a lot of products on the market contain only hyaluronic acid in different concentration as when hyaluronic acid is a standalone product in an injectable it does give you the benefit but it is not always dose dependent and if you have other concoction of other active ingredients they can play an important role in improving the uh, the density and the quality of the skin and this is a, a some evidence uh, to show you that a, by having a concoction of active ingredients alongside the hyaluronic acid and it, in, it strengthens the dermal epidermal junction and in return there is an improved in elasticity and firmness of the skin we have more than just hyaluronic acid when we are addressing and, and keep addressing the objective objective of trying to improve some skin quality and we have to look at uh, the outer skin and the inner skin in conjunction with each other because they work synergistically with each other. Thank you very much.